Yeah. YouTube, what's good? Back with another video. Today's video, I want to talk about creating the world you want to live in. Right? Creating the world you want to live in. Because it's all, it all starts with you. I know I always say that, but it's really mind, body, and spirit that really helps shape your reality, right? Because we, I, I read in a book once, we could both be looking at the same picture. We can both be looking at the same sunset and I might think it's beautiful, but you might think all of the worst things you could think of it. That's just because that's your perception of reality, but that's just your mindset, right? We all have different mindsets. That's why we all have different outcomes. So creating your reality is gonna boil down to your mindset. I know I told y'all I've been off uh, social media for a while. I just got back on Instagram and stuff like that. But I took a break for, I took a little hiatus, just a couple weeks, you know, just to, I feel like I always perform better once I get a little reset, so. I took some time off social media, even just off of watching YouTube videos, you know, like I watch sports and shit on there. And I, I changed my, changed my mental intake, right? I've been reading or well, listening to audio books you know, all the time. I try to cut back on the music that I've been playing. Nothing too, you know, not trying to have a whole fucking paradigm shift go on, but just, trying to detoxify my mind a little bit, right? Trying to reset, just get into the rhythm of forming my thoughts better, right? Because I want a different outcome. Not saying the outcome I have is bad, but it could be better. And I always want more. And I always want to strive for better, which is what I always tell y'all. So through this time, since my birthday, since the first of the month, I took the time off from social media and detoxifying my mind. I, the plans I did have, some of it I ripped up, some of it I kept, added new stuff, formulated a better route. And now I'm about to get into the form of executing it, you know? And I think that I think where I'm at with it now is, is a spot that I'm pleased with, right? So that's why it took me a minute to get back and make a video because I could have been doing videos on video. You know, like I said, I post every day, but I wanted to get back to where I was comfortable with my plan so I didn't feel flawed while I'm talking to y'all. Because it's hard for me to get on here and speak when I don't feel like I'm being genuine and authentic to myself, right? So now that I got that situated, we can move forward. But that goes back to my first part, creating the world you wanna live in. So creating the world means shaping your mindset and that's what I've done. Body, spirit, your mind, body, spirit. Body, I'm not even gonna get into all that. Y'all know what the fuck I'm gonna say. You know what the fuck I'm gonna tell your ass. Right? Spirit. Taking some time to just be at peace in that silence. Which is something that's so hard to do. It's really, the, the more I've looked at my schedule, it, it, being in peace and silence is rarity. And the only time I really get that is in the morning drives to the gym when I don't even have the music on. Don't have nothing on, just driving on the on the streets when it's dark and quiet. But I value those times to just be at peace with your thoughts because it's rare. And you don't ever get that time. I use that time to really just like meditate and just have a reset to just be calm before all the hectic, the, the wildness of the day comes, right? Because it's gonna come, but I just wanna be able to say that I've had that moment calm and clarity before I get into the nonsense of the day. Right? 
Next. But before I move on, just let me give this to y'all too. Whatever you want to accomplish, make a plan for it. That comes in creating the world you want to live in. You want to have, you want to have the nice cars, the nice girls, the nice pl whatever. Make a plan for it, and then execute it. And if it doesn't work, regroup, reset, and make a new plan. Okay, but it should always be bigger than just y'all coming over here wanting to hear about women and wanting to hear about body game, wanting to hear about bitches. All right. I give y'all that because I know that and that's what I've lived through and I know that's what y'all want to hear but let me tell you something it all boils down to building you up it all starts with you alright we can talk about bitches ain't shit this bitches ain't shit that it all boils down and starts with you alright so moving on I want to get into creating Not even. I'm not even going to do that one yet I'm going to just say detachment all right, this next part, I'm gonna call it detachment. You gotta detach yourself and your feelings from the opinions of everybody else. People's opinions, even your loved ones. You gotta detach yourself from that shit, which is something that I've had to notice and I've had to set my mind on dealing with recently. Because a lot of times people can have your can have your best interests at heart. I use uh, air quotes because, you know, literally in being uh, satirical. People that have your best interests at heart, but at the same time, can be downplaying your dreams unconsciously, you know? Instead of them just, I put it like this, instead of them coming out blatantly being like, no, oh, that shit ain't gonna work. You can't do that. Look at that shit ain't never gonna work. They'll say things like, damn, you sure you're gonna be able to do that? That sound like a lot of money. Damn, that shit sound hard as shit. You sure you're gonna be able to do that? You know you ain't gonna be able to get no sleep. That's crazy, bro. Things like that. I don't know, you know, nobody, you know, it's rare, you know, you can do it, but it's it's rare. A lot of people can't do it, you know, things like that. I think Jay-Z said that too. A lot of people project their shortcomings or insecurities on you, but you got to believe in you. So that detachment has to come. You got to detach yourself from their opinions, from their feelings. And even your loved ones for more you know detach yourself from their dreams from their wants for you i want you to be a doctor i want you to be an engineer i don't want to be that that's not what i want that's not what i need but you got to know what you want and need so that you can have that passion behind it and you can have that focus and discipline to attack it to prove them wrong like this is what i'm going to do this is what the fuck i'm going to do and this is why i'm going to do it because i'm going to do it Right? Like they could they could just want the best future for you, be a doctor and this that, but that's not what you want. But you gotta have a better plan and a better course of action to achieve it than what they're setting out for you. Because just because they want that for you, you could do it and be miserable. You could do it and be miserable forever. Made like made a lot of money with it and you're miserable. So you gotta detach yourself from people's, other people's opinions, other people's feelings, other people's wants and needs for you. But you gotta have a clear focus and a clear plan about what you want and need for yourself. Or you're just gonna be walking around like a chicken with his head cut off. Right? Next. Next. And I wanna, you know, I'll probably say this comes Right. It might be the most important, it might not, but I'm gonna say it like this. Next, nobody comes before you, right? That is the main part of creating the fucking world you wanna live in. Nobody comes before you. Hold on, shit, my shit perfect. Nobody comes before you. I don't care. You have to create the world you wanna live in you have to be at the head, the, pres the precipice of the shit. You gotta be at the apex of it. 
That's why it's your world. I told y'all before, everybody does things in their own best interest. And even though they may have your best interest at heart, they are still the most important thing in their own world. And I ain't gonna get into it, motherfuckers got kids and stuff like that. You definitely ain't the most important, but, but you gotta put yourself before everyone else. It's not selfish. I don't care what you're talking about. You can't save nobody else. You can't help nobody else unless your shit is together first. What do they say in, in the airplane? Before you help somebody else, put your mask on. You're no good to nobody on the ground gasping for air. Put your mask on first, then save somebody else. So in your world, you got to make sure you're taken care of. Your mindset's good. Your body, your mind, body, and spirit is all together. Your finances, you got to make sure you straight before you try to worry about anybody else. Because you know why? Especially as a man, nobody's coming to save your ass. And you know that. And I know that. Right? So why would you even go out on a limb and try to save somebody if you're not even to get, if you're not even up on the raft yet? You're not even up on the raft yet. Why would you try to save somebody else? Oh shit. Why would you try to save somebody else if you ain't even up on the raft yet? Right? And that's all I'm gonna get on that. I ain't gonna get too deep in that. It's pretty self-explanatory. But last but not least, create your own space. To create the world you want to live in, you got to have a space for you to flourish. Uh, in, what is it? Uh, the Seven Spiritual Laws by Deepak Chopra. The, the Law of Pure Potentiality, right? Now, he's talking about uh, a pseudo space inside of your mind you know inside of all the consciousness right but i took i took it a step further where i look at it like this actual room or actual place you go as a, a fucking park with an ocean you know i like to hear water whether it's a room in the house where you can just be in silence be at peace and create and just let your mind flow you can just a place where you could get away from stress things like that that's my take on it that's what i think of when i think of pure potentiality you need a spot to decompress your mind to be alone to be in silence to no distractions just let your mind flow of all your thoughts and possible plans and creativity and all types of things like that ways to self-improve yourself ways to self-improve not self-improve but ways to improve the world Ways to improve the lives of people around you. Ways to grow, benefit, things like that. You need that because it's hard to, it's really hard to, to get out of that, to get out of that anxiousness, that, that stress while dealing with stress. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to, it's hard to try to, make good plans and make good decisions and make good moves when you're stressed and then on top of that if you never get the chance to get out of that stress you never get a chance to decompress that stress is just going to compound on you right it's not good for you it's the same thing why you always need to deload while you're working out you're doing heavy benches and stuff like that you always need to decompress you always need to deload you always need to uh, to to get back to doing lighter weights and things like that because your body as it can handle the stress it still needs time to recover from it and so does your, your structure right that's why you like to do hangs to let your spine decompress after you do stretches after you do squats i mean after you do heavy leg uh, motions so what do you think the same thing applies for your mind, mind, body, spirit? You need time for all of that to decompress. All right. But that's all I got right now. I know this went on longer than I wanted it to. I didn't want it to go on too long, but since I just came back to y'all and I'm in good spirits, I wanted to actually 
take the time to, to break this down. Because I know y'all come over here wanting advice on women and, and shit like that, and bitches this, bitches that. The most important thing I advocate for is men's happiness. And I don't feel like you can ever be happy unless you get yourself together. You understand me? So you gotta put you first. I can only give you the tools. You gotta build yourself up. All right? But that's all I got for y'all right now, yo. Until next time, man, it's Wolfgang Pete. It's Wolfgang Lifestyle. And I'm out.